I want you to put your hands above your head, straight in the air. And I want you to jump up and down. Just bounce. Just bounce. Good. I want you to stick your tongue out. And I want you to go, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why did I just do that? Isn't it interesting when you open up and you just cut off the filter and you just go and go and go, it actually makes you happy? Uh, what? Jason Capital. This man has ruined my life. He has showed up on my For You page on TikTok more than anyone ever. He's everywhere, I can't escape him. Now, who is this guy? Well, according to guycodeacademy.com, he is the authority on dating and self-improvement. The authority, hmm. Honey, I know you had good intentions, but I don't understand how someone who says they love me could steal my copy of Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief, and I just don't know what to do right now, so I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna call the authorities. I'm sorry, I just have to do it, okay? Yeah, Jason? Yo. So, sorry sweetie, uh, he said I need to break up with you. Peace. So from what I can tell on TikTok, he likes to go around and talk to people in front of people and uh, try to make their voices deeper. Who would like their voice to be deeper? Kevin Gallegos! Hi! I'm Kevin Gallegos! Really doing the Lord's work. Now, I don't like making videos about other people's content because teach their own. Like, do what you want to do. It's fine by me. But I haven't had something make me this mad probably since Taco Bell got rid of the quesalupa. This guy's so-called advice is some of the most misguided shit I've ever seen on the internet. Like, this just, this stuff infuriates me because it's not just bad advice, it's like toxic advice, almost. It's just, it's so, it's so bad. It's so bad. So we're gonna run through some talks, as I like to call them, and um, for the record, these all popped up on my For You page. And I had to watch them and favorite them because I knew I was gonna make this video eventually. This is like three months in the making. This guy sucks. I know how to approach someone I don't know and build a connection with them in 60 seconds. Like, right, right. One example I can give you, if you're just trying to, to connect with someone you don't know or meet them in mm -hmm. person, it's much better to go up to them and just ask them to do you a favor than try and be all nice and friendly to them. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. in and say, hey, can you hand me that napkin real quick? Mm, and makes all sense. It makes it completely different, opens it up. And even if she gives you the napkin and you say thanks, you can just walk away. Why? 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 Like, in this scenario, you immediately come off as a douchebag. You're initiating a conversation for the sole purpose of getting something in return. Hey, so, uh, I saw you sitting over here and I was just thinking, um, you wanna buy me a car? Hey, I saw you from, like, across the bar and I was just, thought you were really pretty, so, um, do you mind telling me your social security number? Hands in the air, give me all your money. Who does that? Why are you teaching people this? Like, who starts a conversation, let alone a potential relationship, under these circumstances? Hey, but don't worry, just when you thought the advice couldn't get any better, it didn't. It got worse. If a girl has brown hair, you would be like, you know what, I really like blondes. Or like, you know why I would never work between us? Because we'd always fight and I'd always win. Right, that's like the oldest line in the game. But it's a takeaway. Hold up, rewind. I would never work between us because we'd always fight and I'd always win. Right, that's like the oldest line in the game. But it's a takeaway. Did he just say that that's the oldest line in the game? Let me read that again. Here's the line. That's the oldest line in the game. You know why it would never work between us? Because we would always fight and I would always win. If this is in fact the oldest line in the game, A, why have I never heard of it? And B, why? Why is this the oldest line in the game? It's like, it's super condescending and borderline violent. Okay, whatever, move on. We wouldn't be a good fit. You're awesome. Like, you know what? We're gonna make really good friends. Say that to a girl. <laughs> We're gonna be really good friends. Right, it's a takeaway. It's disqualifying her. Every guy she talks to is not saying that. Every guy she talks to is like trying to make her like him or trying to impress her. And you're the one guy who's like, we're gonna be really good friends. I mean, this just, this makes complete sense to me, right? You know, you walk up, you, you meet a girl, you're starting to vibe a little bit, and you go, hey girl, you know what I'm really into? Everything that you're not. Literally everything that you aren't. Sorry, I, I just noticed, you have brown hair? <laughs> what was that? What, are you, is that spaghetti and meatballs? You, you like Italian food? <laughs> gross, dude. That's gross. Honestly, like, fuck Italy. Top 10 worst countries. Like, this is, this is just objectively 
bad advice. No one should listen to this. And the fact that this guy has a platform where people are actually paying attention blows my mind. Like, like who are these people going to see him too? Like paying actual money to go listen to this stuff. Sorry, sir. So, uh, my uh, goal is to make them hate me. Okay, sweet. <sighs> this guy's awesome. Okay, so maybe he might not have the best relationship advice, but hear me out. I mean, he is a businessman. He's a self-made millionaire. Gotta give him props for that. So he probably has some good business advice. I mean, he, he understands that world. So let's see what he has to offer. Isn't it fucking pathetic how so many people, they just don't believe in themselves? Like they literally have a perfect opportunity in front of them. They'll come with a million reasons why it would never work for them. And then they wonder why their life sucks. It's because they never went for it. They never believed in themselves. Like how fucking pathetic could you be? Okay, this might be the worst. This might be the worst one we've seen. He offers literally zero attempt at giving advice in this video. Like, I thought his whole brand was, I'm gonna give you guys advice, I'm gonna help you get to where I am. This is just condescending towards anyone with low self-esteem. He's literally just bullying people with low self-esteem. That's it. That's the video. Oh, hey, hey little buddy, uh, you, don't, you don't believe in yourself there? Pfft. Guys, come check out this pathetic sack of shit. You don't believe in yourself? That's because you're pathetic. You are pathetic. P-A-T-H-E-T-I-C. Pathetic. It's like, oh, you don't think you're gonna make it in life? You don't like how you look in the mirror? Shut up. Pathetic. All right, guys, thanks for watching my advice video. Hope you guys enjoy and use this advice in your daily lives. How can this guy be real and think this is appropriate to put out on the internet? When I see red, I get angry. <laughs> Guys, I swear I did not edit this at all. He literally put a clip of a communist flag just in the middle of his video. You can't make this shit up. Here's what I'm doing. You ask me a question, I reframe the question, I ask myself a better question, and I answer that question instead. When someone asks you, how are you, the question you're gonna ask yourself is, what's something awesome that's happened to me lately? This man literally said, screw your question. I'm not gonna answer that. I'm gonna think of my own question and just talk about me. This is such an ignorant line of thinking to be like, oh, like someone took the time, ask you a question, whatever. Like someone comes up to you, asks a question and you go, no, I don't like that. I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm not gonna listen to your question. I'm gonna think about me. What's my question that I wanna answer and then just tell you that answer. First of all, it's just like, doesn't make sense at all, zero. And second of all, it's just like completely ignoring the other human being in the conversation. This is literally just creating a bunch of psychopaths and I don't like throwing that word around. Okay, I've watched way too much of this guy today, so just last one. We will do one more. Dude, I hate college. I think it's the biggest fucking scam on the planet. Right, and think about this. What if you've taken that 100 grand and all that energy you had at 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, and you had started your own business? Even if it failed, how much more would you know about business now? And you'd have a fucking track record of like building businesses already, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Yeah, fuck college. So this one, along with 99% of his videos, does this very cute thing. It holds on to one very small, and I mean very small, piece of tangible and accurate advice, like helpful advice, but then it takes it to the extreme and makes it this super broad generalization where at this point it, it's not helpful, it's not beneficial at all, and it's just wrong. <laughs> like for example, yes, I would agree. Let's say you're 16, 17, 18 years old. You have this idea that you're super passionate about. You want to build this business. You have the framework. You have some means to do it. And you understand that this is what I want to do the rest of my life. Sure, college isn't for you. If, you're, if you feel like that's going to be a waste of time, don't do it. There's other avenues to go. Fine by me. Mr. Capital here is putting everyone in that box. Every single person in that box. What if this guy right here he's talking to, what if that guy wants to be a doctor? He should go to college, right? I can guarantee you he's not getting a license, he's not operating on anyone if he doesn't have a college degree. Like if you spend four years doing anything the entire time, you're gonna learn a lot about it. That's just a fact. That's how stuff works. That's how life works. So if you spend four years at business doing it in the real world, yeah, you're gonna learn some stuff. But some people don't wanna do that. There's some people that's not their goal and some people 
don't have that idea and framework already. So you go to college, which is fine. It literally feels like this advice is only applicable to him and he's just generalizing it to try to fit everyone. He doesn't have any self-awareness to realize that not everyone is like him and that people can be different than him. And he doesn't realize that not everyone wants to stand up on a stage and yell at people and flex on them and have a really shitty haircut. But to each their own, I'm done with this. I, I, I don't wanna see this guy ever again. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed this video. Um, The other things I was gonna say, probably not important. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys Friday. Peace. Yeah, dream girl, dreaming, I be dreaming. Missing all the days you got me feeling. I said I love you, baby, you know I mean it. Hey, yeah, dream girl, I be dreaming.